Do I still like my car? This isn't frozen. No, it's not. It means we can start the car and not have to delay another five minutes and get to my coffee catch up on time. Yeah. What a wild morning it's been. I had to go shopping and get some clothes for the photo shoot tomorrow. And now I'm off to go see if the jumpers have arrived. They should be. Um, yeah. Two catch-ups. Haven't got any editing done yet, so I'm looking forward to getting home and doing that. But it's okay, I've got time. I still need to eat, but I can wait till I get home. But um, just so much to get done because photo shoot tomorrow. I had to go get these clothes. <sighs> All the fun things, but that's kind of like, you know, I only got told about the, the we only prepared the photo shoot yesterday um, and all these other things is kind of, uh, I'm a sitting duck kind of waiting. <laughs> but all good, I'll get it done, I'll get home by about three to get all the editing done. Um, the fun life of Carlo. So a few of my friends have asked me, it's been a week now um, having the new car, and they're curious to know, do I still like my car? Do I still enjoy it? Do I regret buying it? Do I wish I kept the van? Am I enjoying this car? The short answer is, I friggin' love it. But we need to look at why that is. When I had the van, the van's purpose was to live in it, was to travel Australia, to have a diesel, van that's new that I could sleep in, I could cook out of, I could basically live the van life. Now, the fact that I'm now living back in Melbourne, um, or in Mildura right now, but living back in Melbourne, living in the city, not doing van life, it's winter, it was kind of just sitting there doing nothing. With all the payments, I really had to make a decision on, is this something I want to keep using or would I be better off with a smaller car that I can, you know, my friends can sit in the back, I can pick up my nieces and nephews from school and I can just zip around even easier when I'm driving around the city. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the van life for, you know, the amount of time that I was doing it, but ever since getting this car and trust me, this was like the unexpected choice that I got this one. I honestly love it. I, I love the fact that I can see out of all the windows, that it's small, that it's zippy. Um, I don't mind that there's not a bed in the back and my, I'm not sleeping in my car. I think this was a great choice. Like, this car has everything I could ever need, and especially right now, I could ever use. And the fact that I'm able to get a car at a really good price that's so comfortable, I actually enjoy driving it, I think it was one of the best decisions I've ever made as of recently to reduce my payments, but also have a great car, a newer car, that's fulfilling everything I need it to do. So if the question is, am I happy with this choice? Am I grateful for this car? Am I happy with the choice that I made a week ago to shift from van life into a smaller car? 100%, I love this car, I love this choice, and it has been such a beautiful car to drive. I highly recommend Kia Cerrados to anyone who is looking for a small car that's zippy, that's good on fuel, 
and that's so fun to drive. So yeah, I love this car. <laughs>